Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Trey. Uh, just got done running. Like literally, I came in and while I was running, God really just laid something on my heart and I just literally came in, sat down, and I'm sharing uh, this with you as a, if you, all preachers can understand, God laid something on your heart, you have to share it with somebody. So um, I got to thinking about the passage where uh, Paul, in uh, Philippians, I believe, where Paul is talking about press on toward the goal. Uh, and that goal is to be like Jesus to actually be like Christ. As Christians, that, that is the goal of, uh, of our Christian walk, is to be like Jesus. And uh, I think sometimes, I know in my own life, I get very frustrated um, because I see in my life that I know we're close to being like Christ. And by the way, we will never arrive at that place uh, because we're not Jesus. We're sinful people. Jesus was perfect, was without sin. But as Christians, we're to become more like Christ every day. And uh, I believe a lot of times we get frustrated because we, we're like, we want to arrive tomorrow or today. And uh, that's not how it works. It's, it's a process each and every day. And uh, the concept of running is something that I've been doing for a few months now. And uh, when I first started, I wanted to be able to run a 10K or a 5K just like that. And one thing my wife showed me was she was like, you know, Trey, don't, don't start running and, and focus on that. Or, or when I would first start running, I would think, oh, I got another. 30 minutes to go or you know three miles to go but she's like focus on that tree and just run toward that tree um, or focus on that mailbox and just be like I gotta make it to that mailbox if I can just make it to that mailbox and then after that focus on something else I think in our Christian walk that can apply as well um, I, you know today maybe I'll just focus on reading uh, a proverb or maybe or, or a one chapter of proverbs or maybe just one verse of scripture just read one verse and just chew on that verse um, and just soak it in, meditate on it, really take it in and be like, God, what do you want to say to me through this verse? God, how can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? How can I be more like Jesus from this? And just focus on that. Or maybe today I'm going to um, uh, just pray just for five minutes. And I mean, really just talk to God when we pray, not just recite the same prayer we've been reciting for 10 years, but really just talk to God. And each and every day, take it a step at a time. Um, and we become more like Jesus as we do that. So it's not a 180 degree thing. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, it's a process that takes time. And uh, we have to be consistent and seek Jesus each and every day uh, to be the followers that he's called us to be. And it is daily saying, God, I'm going to meet with you today. I don't care if I'm busy. I don't care if I don't feel like it, God. I've committed that I, today I'm going to get on my knees before you, even if it's just five minutes, and I'm going to seek you one step at a time. And uh, it doesn't matter if I'm depressed or whether I'm down or whether it's whatever, God. Uh, I'm not going to allow that to hinder me, God. I'm going to seek you today and become more like Christ. And that's the goal, and it's a daily thing. It takes accountability. It takes commitment. And we need, that's why it's so important to have brothers and sisters to hold us accountable with that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all, something God's really been uh, challenging me with lately. So uh, let's seek Christ today, and uh, let's just do it one step at a time to be more like Jesus. Thanks.